today's video is updating the BIOS in a Dell laptop. So first things first, we need to go to dell.com slash support. Once in there, we can input the serial number of the device. Uh, as I have done it previously, it already go ahead and recognize my device, but I'll just show you how you can enter the serial number right in this piece here onto the device. So you open the command prompt and you type in WMIC space BIOS space get space serial number. One word. And you hit enter. That should bring up the serial number. You just copy it and then you paste it into the area that I showed you before right here and then you click search and it will bring you to the page that we are going to. Once on the next page, you will click drivers and download. And while you're there, you're going to go and manually find a specific driver. Click on the drop down, choose your operating system. Mine is Windows 10 64 bit. You choose a category. You see BIOS. You see there's two. You choose the BIOS. Now we go down to the BIOS and we're going to check. Now there are two different types of BIOS. You just check the model number of your device to make sure that you're on the right one. To check the model number, you're going to go to your Windows key or your search and type in system information. Select it and you look up which system model is yours. While you're here, you are also going to look up at the BIOS version date that you have. It is very important because you don't want to jump forward too quickly on a BIOS, even though it will more likely be safe, but just to avoid errors, you want to upgrade um, at least two versions back. If you are two versions back, that's where you want to upgrade to. So now that we know our device model, we select the E7250 and we will click download All right, it will download a file for us an executable file once the uh, download has completed you would then run said executable file alright so this is an error you will get if you're on a laptop it will tell you that the AC adapter must be plugged in. So make sure you plug in that adapter if it's not already plugged in. Once you plug it in and you hit OK, you try it again. All right, it gives you the little uh, preamble before it begins. You should take your time and read it. Make sure it's not to interrupt the power supply. So make sure wherever you plugged in that your machine will not be disturbed because if the BIOS update fails, something goes terribly wrong you will break your entire machine and now this just confirming what is going to be replacing the update as you can see I'm going from it just like four different things that are already installed and now it's going to install a bunch of new stuff along with what was previously there once you have updated and restarted your machine you can just verify by once again, typing in system information, opening the app, and there you can check the version. Now, in my case, you would not see a change as it was just an incremental change by just adding a few features, but in your own, you will see a different number here and a different date. So once you've confirmed that and all is well, you can proceed. You have just successfully updated your BIOS. All right, so stay tuned for more videos like this. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you on the next one.